What's up, my warriors? How are y'all doing on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon? Because it is the afternoon now. I've been extremely busy this morning. I was supposed to get on here this morning and do my thing and, and give y'all a word. But I was very busy taking care of running errands this morning. So I was not going to stop the 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 video, the session that we're going to talk about, you know, uh, Y'all already know I was gonna keep it going. I was gonna, I was gonna get it out there to y'all. I was gonna get it out there to y'all. y'all doing on a serious note uh welcome to uh self-motivation talk with your girl chandra um we are going to be discussing i want to get straight to it um we're going to be discussing not letting them see you sweat don't let them see you sweat okay so this morning the devil has been trying me in fact all day he's been trying me okay and it's not even just mentally, you know, he'll try to have people, he'll use people. We know this. He uses others to be able to come and try to steer you in a direction of confusion, upsetness. Now you're yelling, now you're mad. And now he's laughing because he's, he got you where he wanted you. You know, he feel like I got her, I got him. We rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Cause I had to say that all day long today. I had to keep rebuking Satan in the name of Jesus while I'm in the car driving while I'm out the car, while I'm in the store, while I'm in the, uh, 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 the bank, while I'm doing everything I needed to do. I had to rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus at all costs, at all times. Didn't I tell you on the last video that he's always at the forefront of things as well? He's right beside you waiting for things to go wrong so that way he can whoop. Remember, we, remember that whoop? He right back. He never leaves. He's, he's right there and he's right there. But we want to keep him right there. You know what I'm saying? We want to keep him. Ooh, ooh, get your tail on. We rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't think so. But with that being said, don't let them see you sweat, okay? So today, I almost had a person saw me sweat, okay? But I had to rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it's like the situation turned around as far as the person leaving me alone, finally. They finally got the picture. But it's like you don't want to be nasty toward people. You don't want to be mean. So you try to say it in such a subtle way at first. So the first time you tell someone something, let's say you just don't want to talk to a person. You'll be like, you know, I don't feel like talking today. Just give me some space. You know, nothing against you personally. I just need some time to myself, you know, because I don't want to take out any, you know, I don't want to project my energy on anybody else because it's not your energy. You don't deserve this. You know what I'm saying? It's something that I have to handle within myself and control within myself. Okay. And, and that thought pro that thought process, what I just said, is null and void. No one, almost nobody seems to have that pro that thought process. When it comes time to consciously sitting down and saying, nah, I, I don't want to project this energy on you, man. I'm not feeling too well today. I don't want to go out in the world and just, you know, pinpoint people to put my nasty energy on. You don't deserve that. You could be having a great day and somebody coming to the proximity of, of, your, of whatever you're doing and they come with a nasty tainted energy and now you feeling off-putting. Now you like, ugh, like everything just shift. You feel like mm, a bit of depression coming on, a bit of anxiousness coming on. And really, it ain't you. It's just the person that you came into proximity with, you know. So that's what's been happening to me. I've been feeling other people's energy so profound to the point I've been, I had to change my shirt, y'all. My sweat was down to almost my belly button. That's how anxious I was. And I'm like, this is not my energy that I'm feeling right now. Oh, no. I'm feeling everybody else anxious selves. <laughs> everybody else insecure selves. <laughs> And that's just, it just, it just leeching on me, leeching on me. So I had to keep rebuking that in the name of Jesus as well. Kept my head up high, kept walking and handling my business, doing what I need to do. But at the same time, you have to learn how to be able to block those things, be able to block those people and those things. We don't want them to see you sweat. <laughs> don't show these people that you, that you, 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 you care in a sense where it's getting to you or it's making you feel some kind of way. Show people you don't care. Show people that you have a strength in you where my head up high. I, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That don't have nothing to do with me. I'm good. I'm great. 
don't you know I had the energy like that all day today as far as just, I'm good, I'm great. And people were just looking at me like, you could see the people looking. You could see when people are looking at your energy, when they feeling your vibration, because you're on such a high vibrational level. I keep trying to tell y'all, man, when you become so high in yourself, I got people that I wasn't even talking to for a while calling me now. And being that I didn't answer the phone call, they ended up texting me. I really can't even say what the text was on here. <laughs> but I had, I bust out laughing when I saw that text. I said, what the heck is this? But this person plays around a lot anyway like that. But you can tell there's still a form of a spirit of frustration. He was very frustrated <laughs> at the fact that I'm not answering the phone, that I'm not, you know, in, intertwining with the codependency that this person needs. Because we're talking about people out in the world that are codependent, very much so codependent. And when you have people that's like that and they were used to your codependency and now you shifted where you took yourself out of the equation, oh man, that codependency gets real, real bad. It gets real bad. Because now they're looking at it like, I'm not you. I, I didn't I didn't acquire or possess the, the, the skills or not even the skills, the gift of being able to have these attributes like the chosen ones. So I'm stuck. The opposite person that doesn't, that's not chosen, that don't have those gifts. Oh my gosh, the codependency is going to get to an all-time high where now it's, uh, what they call it, now it's harassment. It, it becomes harassment now. <laughs> because they need you. They need that, that you know, they, they need that um, that conversion. You know, they, they need that simulation, that stimulation. You know what I'm saying? To keep them going, to keep their juices flowing and going. Until they can, you know, get into proximity of the next person so they can suck their energy dry. But if they don't have anyone to be able to suck their that energy dry, they're going to go back to that codependent person that they always was able to go to. They was always able to run to. And now they can't run to that person anymore. Do you not understand what that does to the codependent individual? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't let them see you sweat, y'all. Don't let them see you swear. These devils, these energies, these demons, demonic individuals, they are going to come. They are running to you. They are already there at your front steps, at your door. They are already there. But what we have, chosen ones, and y'all already know this, we have discernment. We have the gift of knowing and having the wisdom to know the difference that God has provided us with these skills, with these assets, with these things that we have deep inside of us. And being that we have been shunned and been the black sheep of everything all of our lives, it is our season. It is our time to come out and bring forth all of these gifts that we have that we've been keeping deep inside of us only because we had to strengthen up. So we can go out in the world at the right time when the world is in such disarray how it is and we can be able to come together as chosen ones and create a light. We can be able to now tell our story how we've been the back in the back for decades while y'all been in the front and center basking in greatness and we just been in the back still helping out any way we can still, still not getting our due you know still not know still not really getting what what we feel like should be due to us but we still trying to be great people we still trying to be there for people's businesses successes all this different stuff we still trying to support people you know what i'm saying and honestly not trying to be funny y'all i stopped supporting people i still support people don't get it twisted but it's as if god gave me such a gift now of knowing who to give these things to who to help who to support and all of those things because you it, it, it stems back to yourself Who's supporting you? And we're talking about real support. Like how these women go out and support their man more than their kids seem like. Hmm? How they think about a man and how, or how a man think about a woman before they think about their family. They so profound on chasing ass and chasing peni <laughs> that they can't even see the bigger picture. The bigger picture is guys, women, where you at? That's the bigger picture. You don't see the bigger picture. You're too blindsided by people that don't give a damn about your ass. <laughs> I keep saying this over and over and over. These are the same people you're chasing after that's looking at you like, I will not chase your ass. 
let you fall flat on your face. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, I, I ain't got it right now. I'm busy today. Da, da, da. Excuse out the ass. You getting excuses. Put it like that. When you need the support and you need the help and everything that you need, baby, you are going to get excuses. You are going to get people that say, hey, I tried to help, but I couldn't do it because I was busy. Or I didn't have the money at the time. If I had the money, I would have helped. da 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 Huh? Bro, I'm going to say it straight up to y'all. I'm broke as a joke right now. I just went to the dollar store. The lady was in line and she said out loud, oh, I thought I had $5 in my purse. She ain't had a $5. So she went to the side of the line and tried looking at her purse. Damn near took everything out of her purse trying to find something, the money. Guess what I did? I ain't had nothing but $25 in my pocket, baby. I just spent 20 on all the stuff. So I only had, what, $15 left because I had like a 10 in my purse as well. So I ain't had no money. I ain't got nothing. Guess what I did? I still gave that $5 up, even though I know I didn't have shit. Even though I knew I didn't have a lot of money, I don't got nothing really. And I still gave her that $5. The Lord still put it in me to say, oh, sweetie, here, take that $5, baby. You got it. And not to say just be that kind of person all the time when you really don't got to give up your last. No, don't be a fool now. We saying when you have the spirit of the Lord, when you have the anointing in you, when you have the spirit of Christ in you, he comes before you. He'll tell you, no, no, no. This person out here just panhandling. They they they, they could get up and, and do get out there and, and get something. Don't get them nothing. He'll put it in you. Or he'll put it in you to be like, no, really help this person out. This person is really going through some things. They're really struggling. And he'll give you that discernment to know the difference on who to be able to give that helping hand to. He'll give you it. Because I could have just walked right out the stove. But it's as if he he brought, he put it in because she had her child with her. She had her daughter with her. It had to have been her daughter. And that's when I was just like, you know what? Give her the five bucks. God got you. He got you. He got your hand. He got your hand and foot and everything. Now, like I said before, nobody said to be a fool and give up your ever, ever, ever lasting thing to where now you can't even pay a bill. You can't do nothing because you gave up your land. You gave up your bill money. Ain't nobody saying do that. Don't be a fool now. Don't be a fool. But I could tell you one thing. I've been a fool. I've given up. And this, we're talking about the past when I was a people pleasing person. I've given up money before that I knew good and well I ain't supposed to give up this money. But me still wanting to, you know, thinking to myself, my blessing's going to come, Lord. Let me just help this person, you know, because I really need a blessing. I really need this, Lord. So let me give to receive. That's all I thought. Let me give something to receive. I need, I need help. So maybe if I give, you know, I reap what I sow and maybe I sow good seeds into the earth. Maybe it'll come back. That was my thought process all the time. To the point where I became such an idiot. And I say idiot because I'm giving up stuff that I don't really have. Like we said about bill money. Stuff we don't even have. Because we thinking, oh, the fruits of our labor, the fruits of what we're doing is gonna, it's gonna come back to us. Y'all don't even y'all can't even I can't even fathom how much money I done gave away to people. And we're talking thousands. I done gave people 1500 before, gave them people 500 before, gave people 400 before. Went to the mall, bought a stranger a cologne set, and that was about $50 or more. Don't even know the person, didn't even know him from a can of paint. I just told him, you like that? Get it. He said, huh? We don't even know each other. I said, that's all right. Let's go get it. Like I said before, though, don't be a fool. I was a fool. And I'm going to say it straight up. I was a fool. But that's when the Lord got me away from people. It took some time. It took some time. And not to say that I wasn't angry. Because I was. I had a lot of resentment. A lot of anger. A lot of frustration. That I had to go through this shit. But at the same time I had to realize. Why aren't I blaming the source. Which is Satan. I had to start realizing Lord this is not you. You don't operate in negativity. You don't operate in in, in, in not working through blessings and faith and everything. You don't operate like that. So when things not working out in our favor or how we think it should be and things actually are falling worse, we know that ain't you, Lord. We know that ain't got nothing to do with you. That is Satan himself. That is Satan himself. Just like right now, how I got somebody standing outside my window right now talking so loud on the phone when he can go right next door to his own home. Why well, do I think I said I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus? Amen. He is so loud standing right there in front of my uh, window right here. 
instead of walking toward your area and talking and on the phone and in front of your apartment, you in front of mine. This don't make no sense, but we're going to keep going with the video because we rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus from all type of distractions. He just moved because he must have heard my voice. That's why I got louder purposely. You see how the devil tried to work, y'all? Every time I'm on here with y'all, he's trying some tactical bull crap. But you can't win, baby. You cannot win. Why do you think I got louder, y'all? And the louder I got, guess what? They moved. They moved. You got to have authority. And if you don't have authority, they're going to see you sweat. You have to have authority so they don't see you sweat. You got to show them you don't give a damn. Because these people are watching you. They're looking at you and they want to see you fall. They don't want to see you succeed. They want to see you sweat. They want to see you drenched in your shirt. They want to see you squirming in your seat. They want to see you squirming in your life. They want to see you sweating in your life. Everything is anxious in your life. They don't want to see you being content, happy, and calm. Do you not understand how many people aren't calm no more? Aren't relaxed anymore? They brains is like this. That's how they brains is. People aren't relaxed. They're not meditative. They, they don't know how to meditate on themselves. You got to learn how to meditate on yourself. Meditate on your love. Love on yourself the same way that you loving on these people. I keep saying this over and over and over. The same way you keep loving on these people, love on yourself in that profound way. Y'all know how shy I used to be and timid? Quiet voice, not really wanting to say nothing in the back all the time. I'm forefront now and I have a voice. I'm loud. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care. You ain't going to see me break no sweat for you or for nobody else. And y'all should do the same thing. Don't let nobody see you break a sweat. Don't let nobody see you break a tear. Don't let nobody see you fall, break nothing. You show these things, these cons, that you bought it. You control. You got the control of the will. You got control of your life. You got control of your mental. You got control of your destiny. Your divine purpose. Don't nobody owe you shit. And I said it just like that. I said what I said. I said what I said. Don't nobody owe you a damn thing. Ain't nobody gonna help your mental for nothing. Nobody gonna take your hand and say, let me help you consciously and subconsciously be able to dissect these things in your in, in your mind. Let me, let me, let me put your file cabinets in order in your brain. No, the hell they ain't. They own file cabinets and their brain is in disarray. Discombobulation. All everywhere. They got paper everywhere. If you look into a person's brain, the file cabinets, every one of them halfway open or all the way open and all the papers is on the floor, <laughs> flying everywhere. That's how it look. Don't let them see you sweat, baby. Don't let them see you sweat, baby. And when you got the spirit of Christ in you, don't let them definitely see you sweat, baby. Because they ain't looking at you because, ill. Because a lot of people have this gift. A lot of these chosen ones are out here thinking that they looking at me like ill or they looking at me in, in, in disgust or negative way. No, they're not. They're looking at you in intrigue. I'm intrigued by what I'm seeing. Better yet, I'm intrigued by what I'm feeling. That's what I'm seeing. I'm intrigued by the, by, by the feeling. The profound feeling of love. What is this I'm feeling? Ooh, this person walking in the room, what is this I'm feeling? I'm feeling, feeling like sunshines and rainbow. <laughs> I'm feeling like, I'm feeling a little like, mm, I'm feeling sunshine and rainbow, but I'm also feeling like, ooh, let me hide myself. A person that don't have great intentions, that don't know who they are, you're going to walk into that room and they're going to be like, ooh, let me hide myself. Ooh, but they're still going to be looking at you. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They're going to act like they ain't looking. And they're going to look again. They're going to act like they're looking back again. But the energy is so thick, they can't even, they can't fathom it. So they're going to look back. Mm -hmm. Now they're looking at everything. Mm -hmm. You catch them looking, they can't even help it no more. Now they're just still looking. Now you're staring right back at them like, hey, you got something to say? Now they're still looking at you like, I can't look away now. I can't look, I'm trying to look away. I can't even look away. And then we take it in the wrong way and be like, duh. Duh, what you looking at? 
when really, no, 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 no. I don't say duh no more. I don't look at people and say, ew, what you looking at? I look at them and smile because I know what you're looking at, man. I know what you're feeling. It's, it's foreign. It's foreign. And I say it like that because it's something different. You have no clue what the language is. You have no clue what the language is. It's foreign to you. So if it's, it's like a baby, you don't know. And a lot of people, just like a baby that don't know things, what, what, what do they do, y'all? They become curious Georges. They become curious, curious and intrigued. Next thing you know, they want to try to go touch it. Or they want to try to put it in their mouth. Or they want to, you know, same thing like an adult. They're curious. So what do curious people do? I want to get a little closer to it. I want to see what this is about. I want to see what this is about. I had a person when I was taking a walk the other day. The guy walked up to me and said, I just want to be in your life. I just want to know about you. That is how profound your spirit and your vibrational energy is. I had a man walk up to me and say, can I get a hug? Can I just hug you? <laughs> you have people that want to feel your energy so deeply. I don't even care if I can't ever see you again. But at this moment, can I hug you? Can I touch you? Can I feel you? Can I look into your eyes? <laughs> I'm, I'm so serious, y'all. But us chosen ones, we didn't understand the gift that we had. Have. And I say had because at that time, we didn't understand what we had. Have. <laughs> So we didn't understand when we walk into a room how big we were. We didn't understand. We would just be like, what the heck they looking at? Because we still had to find within ourselves what the hell this is. But now that we're all opening up and realizing, whoa, this is bigger than us. Now I see why people was doing this. Now I see everything will come to you. All, all the things of being the black sheep of the family, all the things of people not paying you no mind. I was just at the grocery store right now, y'all. I kid you not. I went to the grocery store to get some food for tonight for dinner for me and the kids. And I went into the grocery store and the lady was standing next to me. And I just wanted a small conversation. It wasn't even a conversation. It was just me saying something out loud. I said, oh, I was at the creamers because I love my coffee. So I went to the creamer section and I said, oh, look at this creamer. They got a new butter pecan uh, creamer. I ain't never take a southern, a southern butter pe pecan creamer i said look at that wow and i'm talking straight to her like she's standing next to me tell me why this lady looked dead at me put her head down and walked away from me i said oh and i said it out loud i said oh yeah i said i should have known <laughs> i laughed at it i said i should have known like hey i tried you know what i'm saying but when you know who you are you will laugh it off you you won't look at it as see don't nobody want to be around me see don't nobody love me see I, i'm just you won't act like that you'll be you'll laugh it off you'll be like man <sighs> Such an energy of mine, such an energy. But at the same time, you don't want to feel like you got to dumb yourself down all the time when you come around these people. I want to be who I am. I'm tired of getting around these low vibrational people and having to put, turn my vibration down a little bit. I got to turn it. I got to turn it down a notch because they don't understand or I don't want to seem so big and high and mighty, which I know I'm not. But I don't want to seem like that to these people. Because that's what we do, y'all. Y'all know us chosen ones. We have such a big, profound energy where we got to take a notch down. We try to take a notch down. We try to dumb it down a little bit for these people. Take it a notch down. Turn down the thermometer, the thermostat. Just so they could feel a little bit like, you know, special in a sense. Or better yet, you don't have to feel like you got to look into yourself and your flaws and your insecurities and stuff. Because we don't want you to do that. When we come around y'all, we don't want you to feel your flaws and your insecurities so deeply. We don't want to do that. In fact, we want you to feel great about yourself. We want you to see the attributes in yourself where you don't fear because the biggest downfall in life of your success and everything of your life is fear. Fear will stop you from being and doing what you need to do to be the purpose that you need to become, to become the purpose that you need to become. Fear will stop you. Fear. That little word, that little four letter word, <laughs> that tiny four letter word will change the trajectory of your existence. Fear. We operate on fear, 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 fear. I, oh my God, I have to find this man because I want y'all to, when you, you know, when I do find him and I put him on here, um, as far as his information, I want y'all to do your homework, your research, do your own research. But this person was so profound 
with what he said. Our brains are so huge. It's so vast. It's mighty. You know, we can change things. We can create things. We can create sickness. We can take away sickness. We can create wealth. We can take away wealth and become poor and, and stay poor and stay down in mediocrity. We That's how it is. We have the blueprint, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, we got the blueprint. And if ain't nobody going to ride the bandwagon with me and try to figure this thing out and figure yourselves out so we can become great, I got to do it by myself, man, for me. And when y'all open up your eyes and realize you got to do it for yourself, you ain't going to care about trying to bring nobody with you because it ain't about them. It's about you. And you wonder why it's not working because you're trying to hold on and pull them with you. When at the same time, God is like pulling you this way because he's trying to pull the person away from you. And you're trying to go like this. So it's like yin yang. It's like this. You play a teeter totter when God is like, no, let go of the string. Let go, baby. So you can be by yourself and be free and figure this thing out. Because only then will he work through you to be able to figure you out so you can be able to go back out to the world to help other people. How the hell are you going to help other people when you can't help yourself? How are you going to go out there and, and, and be a light and be a leader when you can't even lead yourself? You can't even. We're going to need for you to take your own advice. We're going to need for you to start opening up the portals, the doors to what you know that you are. That way, and only then, will you be able to go out in the world and change lives. You'll be able to go out in the world and change lives, y'all. But you can't change no life if you ain't willing to change your own life first. If you ain't willing to love on yourself profoundly first, you cannot love on anyone else at all. And I'm telling you, I had a guy that tried to get my number. I kid y'all not. I told him no straight to his face. I said no. I didn't say it in a mean way. Y'all know me. Well, y'all get to know me if you don't know me. I'm not a mean person. Not at all. Of course, us chosen ones, we we far from being mean. But don't get it twisted. Don't, don't play with us. But at the same time, we have a humility and a humbleness in us where it's like, man, we pick and choose our battles. We pick and choose our battles. Everything don't have to be a fight. Everything don't have to be a fight. You don't have to win in everything, every argument, every. You don't have to win. You win some, you lose some. So it was like, at the same time, man, y'all got to realize, man, don't let these people see you sweat because they want to see you fall. They want to see you give up. They want to see that it's a, it's a frustrating process. They want to see all of this. Mind you, I want people to see how struggle of a struggle my life was. I want people to know how much of a struggle my life was because only then will you be able to connect and relate to my struggles and therefore try to make a change. I can't, all my life people used to get mad at me because I couldn't connect and I couldn't relate to them because it was lies. You were already making it seem like you was already fed off a silver spoon. You got to think the majority of people aren't fed off of a silver spoon. So they want to see the nitty gritty. I want to see the slums. I want to see you down in the trenches, the dirt, and then rise. I want to see your. I want to see that. I want to see you be on your face flat, on your ass flat, and then I want to see you rise to your success. Now that's gonna give me motivation as far as just like whoa, if they they had nothing, I watch them have nothing. I watch them take this little bit of nothing and make it into something. So it lets me know I could take my little bit of nothing and make it into something. I don't want to start off with something because I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know that. That's foreign to me. You got to think I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm low poverty and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Not saying me personally, but I'm just talking as far as like, you got these people that's really struggling in their life. And then you have these rich people, these people that's already middle class and act like, hey, see, you can get and do what I did. You know, you can get to where I am at. Or you can do how, you can do it how I did it. And you'd be like, no, I can't, man. Do you, have you even been in the slums like me? They'll be like, No. Have you been homeless like me? No. Have you had no vehicle where you had to walk and hitchhike for almost a year? No. Have you, you know, now you're saying all of these different things and they like, no. So I can't connect with you. I can only connect with people that have been through the dirt. So then that way I can have an idea of how to get out from the dirt. Because you got to see his levels. You got to understand his levels. So with that being said, the level that we are in 
is not the level that they are in yet. You're on a high level right now. You know what I'm saying? You're on a high level. So I'm going to need you to dumb it down a little bit and show me the level of struggle before you got to your success. That way I can relate. A lot of people don't know how to do that. They just, they start you right off at the success. And you'd be like, I got to get there. I, I'm trying to get to that success. So you got to show me the bottom first so I can get there. Don't let them see you sweat, man. I don't care what you got. But like, even right now, the devil is trying to bother me, y'all. I'm feeling a little nauseous. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I'm telling y'all, this is real. This is real spiritual warfare. And I'm not the type to, to press pause or to click off or not to not show y'all the realness. I told you, I'm showing y'all all of this, man. He really trying to attack me physically right now. Like, as we speak, my body is getting very hot, as if I'm going through early menopause. <laughs> But we rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus at all costs. And we continue our journey and our videos and just putting a word out there to be able to become your better version of yourself. Because that's what it boils down to. But do not think that the enemy will not try to discourage you or steer you off of the road of the direction of where your purpose is supposed to be. He is going to throw monkey wrench after monkey wrench. He's going to throw uh, 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 nunchucks in there. Bow, bow, bow. He's going to throw every tactic he can in there to not have you figure out your greater purpose or get there for that matter. But it's when you understand and you follow Christ and you just follow that faith, that intuition, that wisdom, that insight. When you get, when you gather and gain all of those things inside of you, I'm telling you how much you don't need nobody else. I'm telling you through experience how much you ain't going to need nobody else. How much the only the only thing that you the only purpose the only the only the only thing that you're going to have to keep your mind on is Christ and that is it. I I can't even begin to tell y'all how much things aren't going in my favor right now. But look what I said in my favor right now. The Lord looking at it like it's not about your favor. It's about what I'm trying to do for you. I just need for you to do what you do. I created the platform for you, for you. I gave you the mentality to be able to put the the, 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 the work in, to, to put things out there, to put the word out there. Do what you need to do. Don't worry about nothing else. And that goes for anybody else out there. It don't even have to be videos like this. It could be anything in your life. The Lord is looking at you like, don't worry about nothing else. Don't let no, don't worry about people. Let them sweat you. You don't sweat them. You don't, you don't let them see you break a sweat. You continue to follow through. And he's going to continue to follow through. And do what he said he was always going to do for you. You see how much I don't care about people no more? I know people who... I even know people listening. I know people listening. I live in an apartment. And these walls is like fiberglass. These walls is like paper. <laughs> you can hear straight through them. I could probably hear somebody taking a piss in the bathroom probably. That's how thin these walls are. So don't think you're not being watched, listened to, or nothing. But at the same time, you don't let them see you break a sweat. Because I kid y'all, like I said, I was sweating down to my belly button when I left out this house. This house. When I left out this apartment, I was sweating bullets when I got out there in the world. Because I started feeling everybody else's energy. But at the same time, guess what I did, y'all? I didn't let them see me break a sweat. Yeah, I think I got my jacket on. You can't see nothing under that. Not even that, I still kept my head up high no matter how the body was feeling. No matter how the body was feeling, I kept that mental of, girl, don't let them see you sweat. You keep walking with that head up high and showing your strength. Even through all of these adversities. You got the power. You got the gift. You have the anointing. People can't even understand what and who you are and what you possess inside of you. Hell, you don't even know. A little bit, you get in there. We get in there. We get in there. But once we really there, once we are really there, ain't nobody gonna be able to stop y'all. Can't nobody stop you now. You've already understand. You you understood the assignment, and you're doing what you need to do now. It's never too late. Being that you're doing it now still, and you understand what has been put onto you, the manipulation. The tactics that has been put on you now that you realize and you see this game. Now, God is going to give you them tools you need so you can do your due diligence and do what, what you need to do. Because that's what he did to me. He showed me one more time. He revealed my enemies one more time for me. And that's when he put it in my brain. Enough is enough. Let me reveal your enemies one more time. Because you see, 
your life is going to change. It's your season. It's your season now. It's just chosen one season. So being that it's your season now, I'm going to put it in your brain. We know you love deeply, but I'm going to put it in you to not move a muscle. I'm going to put it in you when things are going wrong with your friends, your family, your every, anything in your life. When you got people that need you or coming around and trying to soak, soak you up or, or they want you to come around or whatever case, I'm going to put it in your brain and make you stay still. That's what he's been doing to me. He's been making me stay still. He's been making me not respond. He's been making... Y'all, anybody that personally knows me outside of these videos, y'all know who I am. I visit you all the time. I call. If, if I don't call, I'm coming around. I'm chilling. I'm shooting the crap with you, you know? I changed, man. And it's not like I purposely tried to change because one thing that y'all need to understand is going to happen subtly. It's not, you're not going to have no chance to think about it. You're not going to be like, well, Lord, should I leave them alone or should I not leave them alone? It's going to have, he's going to put something in the forefront of happening. It's going to be something that happens. And it's going to happen so fast. Like I said, it's going to be suddenly. And he's going to open up your brain and say, bah, I'm done. And it's, it's going to be that quick. You're not going to have time to think about it. You're not going to have time to say, let me get away from these people. Or should I be around them? Should not be around them? You're not going to have time to think. He's going to make something happen to make you make the decision right away. That's how it go. Why do you think I tell people it's never your understanding? You'll never understand. Never, 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 never. Because till this day, I don't even understand what happened. I'm still trying to gather up the pieces. What happened? How did I end up like right here? It's not your understanding. That's why. And he makes things happen in the blink of an eye where you have no choice but to know that it was him. You have no choice but to praise him and know ahead of time. Lord, I know this ain't nothing but you. I don't even have no physical person around. That's how I know it was you. So could nobody else bask and, 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 and take the credit? Could no physical person come in your life and say, I'll take the credit? No, nope, because ain't nobody even around. Ain't nobody even around to take the credit. So you know it's Christ. Stop playing with him. But with that being said, I'm going to shorten up this video. It's already in the 30s. I'm going to... Y'all know when I get to talking, y'all going to y'all gonna get to see. When I get to talking, I get to talking, man. Because I know I've been there. Still there. Still going through it. But y'all going to go through it with me. We're going to go through it together. And we're going to learn from each other. That's why I tell y'all to comment. Hello. Put your input in. Don't be scared. Y'all know how much I watch so many YouTube videos and normally I'm so scared to comment. I am so scared to comment. I've been commenting on everybody post lately, liking everybody's stuff lately, opening up lately. And it has been so great. It has been so great because now it's like, girl, wow. I never knew I had such a big voice. I never knew I had, uh, 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 you know, that my, my input meant something. And your input means something, man. Your input matters. Don't think it don't, man. Just try. Try to open up. Try to put yourself out there, man. You'll see a difference in your life. You'll see things start to turn around and change for you, for the better you. I'm telling you, I'm a living witness going through it right now, man. But with that being said, y'all, man, thank y'all for tuning in. Self-motivation talk with your girl, man. Please, if you need to watch this video a second time, watch it a second, a third, a fourth. I don't care. Please share, man. Share these videos, man. Some people might look and laugh and be like that. Da, 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 da. We, we, don't, we don't care for them people, man. Those are Satan spawns. People that don't understand nothing, of course, they're not going to have an open mind on nothing. Those kind of people, you leave them where they at. You don't try to explain nothing. Because now you're talking to the wall. Like how y'all see this wall right here? When you try to explain things to people that don't have an open mind, this is what you're talking to. You're talking to this. Don't do it. Move forward. Move on to the people that is going to be there. God is going to gravitate. The people are going to come to you. I keep telling people that what's for you is for you. It's meant for you. So even if you don't have the people that you want, to support you, the people that you need to support that's going to gravitate towards your success and your and your, your channel or whatever the case may be, your life, they're going to come. They're going to come. Don't force it. Don't force it. I'm not forcing nothing. I'm just going to be me right here. You like it? You love it? You hate it? Hey, I can't be nothing else but me. And you can't be nothing else but you. Unapologetically, don't give a damn about that. Okay? What nobody think about you. I always tell people, what you eat don't make me. Eh. What you eat don't make me. Eh. So.
So like I said, man, I love y'all, man. Comment, like, subscribe, share this video, like I said. And um, yeah, man, our next video, I already got stuff written down for our next video, man. Our next video is going to be uh, you're more than enough because you are. You are more than enough, man. The people that's in your life that act like they don't think that you're enough, that's because you're too much for them. <laughs> but we're going to discuss that on the next video. But for right now, like I said, stay prayed up. Keep the most high at the forefront and the frontal lobe of your brain because that is the only source we need on this earth, in this existence, in this thing called life. Till next time, y'all. Stay up. Enjoy your day. It's a little cold out right now. If you're indoors, get nice and toasty and warm. Maybe make you a nice soup or a meal. Watch a movie. Spend time with the family if you have family at your home or whatever. But the goal is love on yourself profoundly, man. And be happy. Smile. Even if you ain't got nothing to smile about, just smile. Smile. They got a song, Smile. Y'all know that song. What is it? Uh, uh, smile. I can't even sing it. All I gotta do is smile. Smile. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, but I'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. <laughs> Peace out.